If you need to check if a cell or a row of cells is blank, there are a couple of ways to do it. Quite useful if you want to hide rows or something like that if there's no information in it. So the first thing we can do, here's the blank test, so there's either numbers here or not. In this case, we're only testing for that one there. So the function we've used is a simple if, and all if says is go there, is it equal to, and we've put two inverted commas next to each other. We've then said if the value is true, we've put a one or a zero, this could be true, false, empty, full, whatever you want. So what you'll see is when there's something there, it shows a zero, and in this one here, the same formula, here there's a blank, nothing here, therefore it shows a one. So that's one way to do it. Another way is there's a function in Excel called isBlank, and it does exactly what it says. All you do is you point at the correct cell, and it'll either give you a true or a false. So here it's saying false because it is not blank. Here it is saying true because it is blank. If you need to change these two numbers, so you don't want to see false and true, but rather zero and one, you can achieve it by just putting a double negative in front of the is blank. And you'll see that happens there. So that's fine if you're only interested in one. But what happens if we want to know if all of these are blank? So we only want to hide if there's nothing anywhere. So there's a function in Excel called count blank. And it does exactly what it says. In this case, I've highlighted those cells and it's told me there are five blanks. So in that area, there's five blanks, one, two, three, four, five. Once you know that, and you know that a proper blank would be, in this case, seven, then you can build a function that says, if it's a seven, then that's a blank cell. So you'll see that is showing a blank cell. So that's where we want to highlight a whole area. You could do something similar with a count if or count ifs. So you'll see again it's highlighted that area and all we've done here is we've said that's the range and our criteria is just two inverted commas next to each other and that it understands to be count the blanks so this one shows only five whereas that one is showing seven you could also do something slightly different so we're going to turn it around now so same thing i'm doing a count if but in this case, in my criteria, between inverted commas, I've put in a less than and an equals to. So I'm saying it's not equal to. So count the cells that are not blank. So in this case, you'll see there's two. And where they're all blank, it gives us a zero. And this way is quite a good way because basically all the zeros must then be blanks. Now, these are either one or a whole range. But what happens if we've got, we're only looking, is this blank, this blank, or this blank? So there's a couple of ways to do it, but our preferred way is we create a help, helper cell. So in this case, we've used concatenate. And we've just said, join that to that to that. So the concatenate, or lately called concat, just look at those three cells. And then we can use either our if function to look here and say, is it a blank? So here it's looking there, there's something in it, it's not a blank. Whereas here, it looks there, it is a blank and gives us a one. Just a word of warning, when you use concatenate, notice that the is blank no longer works because here it's saying false, correctly saying it's not a blank. But here, we've got a concatenate in it and the is blank is also telling us false. So it's noticing there's a formula there. So just be careful about that one.